there's many, like, depending on which articles you read, I found it interesting how, okay. like, if you read, like, a mainstream media article, it described it as, like, um, a description of, like, the ripples of the water, <laughs> and, you know, which, you know, which it okay. can be too. Yeah. But uh, not many of them really went into, like, the um, spiritual context of, of that, of your design as well. So can you, yeah, so can you give a bit of that's interesting. background to that? I, I thought that was interesting. Abs- yeah. Yes, yeah. it's a very... Like people probably weren't quite ready yet in mainstream, very mainstream media to grasp what it is that this is. Right, yeah. right. That's a very interesting observation that you could see that. Uh, and uh, I'm very aware of it. I was very aware also going into this, um, this project that that context for the work and, and the, the sort of the essence of the work was maybe not necessarily something that could or should be divulged right in the beginning. There need to be some ground. There need to be some, yeah. yeah there needs to be the the depths of like uh, where it came from and and what really I think the potential of a form like this is 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 something that like a, it sort of was baby steps to sort of like to allow that to come out and, sure. and I was careful with how I, you know yeah. how I um, talked about it in the media before and, and right. after the commission and all that. So that's uh, yeah. there are different like you know there yeah. are different different things we'll say. Different people will say different things for sure. Sure. Um, the title was always was always there, and that was always something that I was very very clear about. And That's Spanda. Spanda. Yeah. So the title Which is a yogic philosophy. Is, right. Yeah. yeah. So the title book is yes, it's Spanda. Spanda. Um, Spanda is um, it's a beautiful, such a beautiful word. It's like it's for, it yeah. comes from the Shaiva tradition. Okay. Um, and it's um, so in in the Shaiva tradition, there's uh, there is basically that reality and um, is is the play between um, between a divine imminence and, and, and divine transcendence okay. so there is this there is this unity between the manifest world that we can see and and the unmanifest world which is the ground um, and for the Shaivas is, is consciousness right. and um, between those two there is like a they're in union and mm. they're like they're pulsating mm. actually it's dynamic it's this process mm. of this process of of, of, of manifestation mm. is is a dynamic process mm. and um, and it's something that occurs in every moment everywhere mm. and it's like uh, and it's a vibration it's it's beautifully it's beautiful beautifully described in, in, in the Spanda Karakas and, and in the different scriptures in, in the Shaiva tradition is mm. um, is this 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 vibration of consciousness that wants to manifest actually that mm. wants to like bring 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 itself into being so it can experience, experience itself, itself yeah you know yeah. so um which is an amazing thing to think about it is yeah, an amazing yeah, thing to think to about and that, yeah. and you know not only to think about to to experience you know and that's really what well, it's we about. are experiencing it aren't we? that's you it and I in this that's present it moment. that's yeah, it every moment yeah yeah and that's what the yogis brought to us is is the teachings and the path to that experience and 